Okay, I have a 1960s Smith Corona Coronet Electric, and the colors on this one was inspired by a 1940s Underwood that we had a while ago. We really loved the color scheme, so we gave it a try on this um, electric typewriter, and we love how it came out. So this is an electric with a manual return, and let me show you around the typewriter before I do the typing demo. So obviously your handles to turn your roller. This is going to set your margins right here. You just press and push. Uh, these metal brackets are to hold your paper. And then over here, you'll see a white lever that releases the carriage. So if you ever need to release the carriage, you can hear the bell. It sounds really nice. When you do need to get inside the typewriter to change the ribbon, please move the carriage all the way to the left so that the handle does not scrape the top of the typewriter. And you slightly lift up and out. Here you'll see your ribbon. We have a universal ribbon in there for you. It's brand new. All of our typewriters come with a fresh ribbon. When you do replace it, make sure the black is on the top, red is on the bottom, and make sure the ribbon is threaded through the brackets and the guide wires. When you get to the end of your ribbon on your spool, the type or font is going to get faint. That doesn't mean your ribbon needs to be replaced. It means your ribbon needs to change directions. So you do that right here. It says rib rev. That means ribbon reversal. So you just switch the direction. And if it was going this way, it'll go back to this way. Either way, you can switch the direction of the ribbon many times before you need to replace it. If you want to change colors and type in red instead of black, your color selector is going to be right here on the right side. It's on black right now. You just press it down to change it to red. This is where you set your tabs and then you can clear that. Over here, these numbers, you probably will never use this, but this just sets how hard your metal strike bars are going to hit the paper. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on and we will do our typing demo. One word on these typewriters. This one I love is really quiet. Some of them, some of these Smith Corona electrics can be noisy. This one's really quiet, but if by chance you start to hear the motor or it sounds like it's kind of rubbing or you, you just kind of start to hear this grinding noise, that's because if you've been carrying it and picking it up, sometimes because the top is kind of just on some hinges, it gets pressed in and it's bumping against the motor. And if you open it up, you'll see the motor is right here underneath the ribbon spool. Occasionally, this will push up against that motor and you'll hear it grinding. All you need to do is tap it over um, or gently kind of pull it out a little bit. But be careful when moving it that you don't um, press it in, push it in when you're carrying it up and moving it because then it'll push up against the motor. All right, let's do our typing. On these typewriters, the electric typewriters, there are three keys that have a repeat action on them, and that will be the dash, the period, and the X. So if you hold that down, it does a fast repeat.
Oh, I can't spell dog. Let's try that again. checking the bell okay gosh I really like this one this is just gonna be a really good excellent um, everyday typewriter for just about anything that that you want whether you're a writer who's writing a book or you're using um, craft projects or screenwriter or you just want to have something around in case you ever need one this is a great one for you it's gonna be affordable um, electric so easy to type so it would be easy for kids to type on um, and pretty intuitive so if you've never used a typewriter this would be a good adjustment for you into the typewriter world okay you can see more details about this typewriter on our etsy shop the link is in the comments below and again as always thank you for watching